man, uh, Jerry Slugger Forrest. I met him all like 10 seconds ago. So we go really far back. Jerry, thank you for coming on. No, nah, it's all love. It's no problem at all, man. It's no problem at all. It's all love. Well, I've been wanting to get you on. I'm glad you, you saw a YouTube video we had made with content around your fight because it's like there's this resurgence of modern heavyweights and I'm a, I'm a boxing nerd, bro. And you can tell by the way I look, you don't see those muscles on my body. So the word nerd probably always fits me. And I've been looking at guys like Pinklin Thomas and all these just guys from the past. And I saw Johnny Rice recently win and you doing your thing. What has started your career resurgence I'd say going back to the Carlos Tacom fight where you looked very good in the Tacom fight. You looked good against Franklin. You looked good um, against Big Bang Zhang. I think you probably won that fight. And now you looked good with Michael Hunter. That's four good performances against four good fighters. What has changed in your career? Just the, 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 the capabilities to be able to do it full time, you know, more and more and more every time. Uh, like I said, a lot of those guys, <clears throat> I, they didn't work. I used to work six or seven days a week. Uh, my job was, was real tedious. Um, you know, I couldn't just take off and, you know, go out and train for months at a time. So uh, the most I could take off back then was like a week. Uh, I think it was like a month at a time because of the kind of job that I had. So uh, the biggest change is just being able to do it full time, being able to, to really commit myself into the boxing realm fully, uh, being able to be in the training camp, uh, you know, the nutrition, uh, the just the meal preps, everything. So, you know, me just being able to be a real pro, to me, is, 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 is the difference. Um, Sing Day Lee, that was probably the first time that we were able, we were just starting to get it really right. You know, that was my first time really having a camp done personally the, the right way. So, you know, that's why this fight looks a little bit better. And next fight's going to look even better. You know, we're, we're just constantly getting better because the situations are getting better. I'm able to do more stuff now, you know, so. You know, the more that, that, that I figure out the pro game personally, I uh, just feel the better that I'm getting. And I got to say, like, this last performance, I've gone back and checked it out a few times now. I'm pretty darn impressed because Michael's always been someone that I've thought really high of. I will be 100% honest with you. I do think he was a little off, but that doesn't take away from you because you did what you had to do. Um, oh, yeah. Mike, Michael Hunter reminds me of his father a guy that's going to get forgotten amongst the greats of his era. And what did you do to make him look the way he looked? Because this is where we got our pushback online. Let's get the conflict going. Let's grow well, his people. So, so, well, so if you look at the fight against him and, and Yusuf, right? He beat Yusuf the first four round season. And if you look at, listen to Yusuf's corner, they're telling you he's beating you on footwork. Now I, I just, I just revert back to, why do you think Yusuf's footwork was so much better than Anthony Joshua's? He went back and worked on it. Yusuf's a left-hander like me. Why were you going to the right, to, to your left the whole entire fight? It's because no matter, no matter how, how crazy it was, um, <laughs> Yusuf could, how could I put it? He was getting trapped the whole fight, okay? Like, Hunter, Hunter basically cut him off. So Yusuf was going to his left, which is not his power stance. You look at the fight. I, I, my, my footwork, my movement was better than Hunter's. So you listen to Hunter's co corner, he couldn't keep up with my footwork alone. The footwork is what kept him lined up on the two. It's simple. It's, it's just simple stuff. The first fight, they, they had it a shutout. Sure, I understand that. The thing is this. Like, I was there. He got a 21-day suspension. I got like 10 days, I think it was. Him, excessive hair shots. Uh, after the fight, he dropped down the cruiserweight. That's because he said, I punched too hard. I almost had him out in that fight a couple times. I couldn't close it because I wasn't where I was now. You know, uh, like, what people don't get is they told me that Michael Hunter fight fell out. I asked for the fight on a week's notice. You get what I'm saying? Like, he was training like I was training. I was training for a whole different person. It's not like they were like, hey, look, man, Michael Hunter, you know, hey, man, God fell out, man. I didn't want you to. No, 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 no. I said, God, I said, yo, see, see, see if they can make the fight with us then. I knew who Michael Hunter was. Like I, like I said, I feel I beat him the first time. I was, I, to me, I was cheating. And, and that's just how I've always felt since that fight. So I've always wanted to get back. You know what I mean? I know people see the, see the fight, they're like, you know, it's an eight-round shutout. Well, if you look at it now, you can't see that fight. The, the fight. That fight was on Golden Boy. You can't see that fight online. They haven't. They've never put it online. I was B-side. The fight now, you can't, you can't find it online right now. Because, again, I was B-side and I beat him again. 
like the first fight, my coaches would tell you. I mean, the only thing I didn't do, it was kind of like the call of the clown fight. There's the first couple of rounds, you could argue that I maybe didn't throw enough punches. But, I mean, honestly, the, the, the power punches, the harder punches, the first fight, I almost put the guy out a couple of times. Like, if you notice, after that fight, he's went down to cruiserweight after that fight. I mean, I don't, I don't have to lie. You know what I mean? And that's what I told the guy in, uh, in the press room. Like, I, I, you know what I'm saying? I asked for this fight because I know who he is. It's not like he's better than me. I mean, the first fight, I could have truly stopped him. I just, I didn't have the training. I'm working a full-time job. This guy's in camp. I took the fight on a month notice, working a full-time job where I couldn't get off from work. You know what I mean? And we still went eight rounds. And to be honest, like I said, I kept him brutalized the first fight. I know what the scorecard say, but that's him being on the Golden Boy fight, fighting him. I mean, that I had everything stacked against him. You know what I mean? But, yeah. So we, we wanted the fight. You know, who? what you guys seen, he didn't have time to prepare for me, just like I didn't have time to prepare for him. Either. Joe Jones is no Michael Hunter, and that's no disrespect to Joe Jones. You know what I mean? So... To me, just having a better game plan and being able to capitalize on what I didn't capitalize on the first time, to me, that made the difference. You know, simple things like step, better jab. That, that's what I was lacking the first time. I mean, I just feel like the guy that beat me saw my spotlight. You know what I mean? Frank, when I beat him on, there, there's no one that I've been beat by that has actually outboxed me. It, it just, and, and that's from the, the first fight with him on. You know what I mean? I know what the loss is still on my record, but I, I've never been outboxed. Even with talk, I'm not throwing punches. That still was a huge fight, and I wasn't even letting my hands go. You know what I mean? So my, my, my step and my movement is going to give anybody trouble. For Michael Hunter, it doesn't matter who it is. That's just – I'm an aqua god because I'm not super lazy with my, with my steps. Well, what I'm hearing, too, is on top of being an awkward guy, you're a motivated guy. And there's a lot of people through – historically throughout heavyweight division, they get to a place and they stagnate. And you sound like the guy that wants to take stuff from people you feel wronged. And you're probably the most dangerous guy in the heavyweight division because you're going into these fights trying to take something. If I, if I name the people, Oscar Rivas, Oscar Rivas for the title, right? For the bridge title, he won't fight. I, I'll say all of this. Usyk, when Usyk first came up the heavyweight, he fought Chaz Whippersmoon. Usyk didn't want to fight. They offered us a fight. We took it. They declined it. More right guys here. Look at more right guys here. The weekend, we we're gonna, me and Moray were gonna fight on, I think it was like a uh, Danny Garcia or either um, Errol Smith's card. Moray Gaziev declined the fight. We, we were in camp each, two months straight, three months straight training. I, would, I, uh, I brought Steve Cunningham into my camp. The Monday of our fight, we we're gonna fight that Saturday. Contract signed and everything. Moray Gaziev declined. I had a code where he said on Instagram and it's, I have no reason, you know, I didn't find, I felt that I didn't have the best camp because I couldn't find a left-hander that was equivalent to Jerry Forrest. But it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, these guys, I, I, I've never ran or ducked anyone. I want to fight the best competition, but I can't make anything. Oscar Rivas, that should have been a fight that me and him had for Bridgeway. But you can't, you can't make guys fight. That's, I mean, sparring, <laughs> I'm not going to call any names because I'm friends with some of these guys, but I've been all the way up to New York City. Lisa's gym. A lot of these guys are phony. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I broke up nine hours. What's up, everybody? It's your good friend, Lukey, and I appreciate you watching this video. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment with suggestions, which is the reason you're seeing this video. And also, if this is just a single video and you're saying, where's the full interview? Look at the upper left-hand corner and you can find the full interview or check in our video section. We're rapidly trying to improve this channel and it takes support from not just myself, but also people that enjoy the channel to keep me motivated and try to give you the best boxing content. Be sure to go to itrboxing.com for all of your boxing needs. This is Luke.